Men, I want to talk to you guys, to you young men and older men. I've heard it said by pro-life friends of mine that abortion is a woman's issue and that only women should speak about that kind of thing. Well, I'd like to challenge that idea and give you a voice so that you have confidence to speak about that sort of thing. I've got a question for you. What is the main duty of a man? Perhaps what even defines him? I would say it's to provide for and protect women and children. Right now I have a great man in my life. I've been married to him for 14 years and he's a great provider and protector for me and my children. I've not always had such a great man in my life. When I was six years old, my dad left my mum, ran off with another woman, spent all our family money and left me and my brother in poverty. My mum found another not so good man. He never really committed to her and later when I was 18 he sent me inappropriate messages which implied to me he didn't think of me as a daughter and he persuaded me to never tell my mum. So when I was growing up I didn't believe there was such a thing as a good man. Later when I met another not so good man and he sexually assaulted me for the first time, I felt I had nowhere to go. This man noticed my silence and took his opportunity. He went on to assault me many times over a year and I became pregnant and then abortion. You might be thinking, I am a good man. I am a good husband. I am a good dad. I look after the women and children in my life. Why are you saying this to me? Well, I am saying it to you because I want to challenge you to more. There are countless women and girls out there who don't have a good man or a good dad in their life and they are relying on you speaking out. It's no good being quiet at home in your fa with your family and friends at the back of church, not saying anything, just being pro-life only in thought. There are people who need your actions and I'm challenging you to take responsibility for those as well. If you come across a woman or a young girl who is having a crisis pregnancy, you may think that is really frightening and scary and you just do not know what to do or say in that situation. Okay. I heard Jordan Peterson say the other day that sometimes women just need an opportunity to speak, to talk things out with somebody who is listening. Because when they speak to someone who is listening, they can often hear the answers to their own problems. So all you really need to do is be there listening, being constructive, being patient. And if all else fails, and you just don't know what else to say, you can easily give somebody a phone number, a pro-life charity phone number. What I'd like to ask you to do is just right now decide on what you're gonna say in that situation. Because if that should happen, you don't wanna let fear ruin that opportunity to save that woman and child. If you should meet a woman or girl who's already had the abortion, you might be thinking, it's too late, there's nothing I can do for her. Wrong. There is everything you can do for her. Firstly, you need to listen to what she has to say. Let me tell you, when I had my abortion, I felt anxious, depressed, heartbroken. I made all the right noises. I went to college. In front of my friends, I was okay but on the inside I was dying. Privately, I was taking loads of painkillers, drinking vodka in hope that I wouldn't wake up in the morning. 
I was doing really risky behaviour, terrible things that I'm ashamed of now. And I had nobody to listen. I had nobody there to recognise. I had post-abortive trauma. You have the opportunity, you are in a privileged position to be able to listen to her, to signpost her for counselling. There are many really good organisations that can help her, such as Rachel's Vineyard. So you make sure you leave that conversation with her believing she has hope for the future and things won't always be so dark and horrible for her. This may have all sounded a little bit dark and depressing, but it's not. I'm still here. I'm healed. I eventually met some really good men who helped me, signposted me, supported me, and I'm in a really good place now. I believe in a spiritual world, and I want to ask something of you. I want to ask you to spiritually adopt a woman and child today and you make a pledge that you will pray for them every day. You may never meet them but if you should you make sure that that woman does not leave you without knowing that there are good men in the world who are willing to help. Helping might be difficult, it might take some changes from you but those changes start today right now.